What if you could profit when others panic? Not just to break even in bear markets, but make money while stocks are falling. Do you want to learn how to build a short selling strategy that you can trade in the next bear market like this and works also in bullish markets? I'm going to show you in this video how to make a short selling strategy for US stocks and backtest it using real test software. No matter if you are a discretionary trader or making algos on Python or Ami Broker or with something else, you can literally make your own short selling systems if we somehow are in the next bearish cycle. We'll go step by step, coding the strategy, running back tests and analyzing results to refine performance and talk about why no one is not trading short side trend following. I am the portfolio manager of Setup Alpha and wanted to show you a short side strategy because the next tutorial is about how to combine different strategies into one portfolio and manage risk. Before that, we need different types of strategies and today we create one. Before we get into the code, let's quickly cover what short selling is. Unlike traditional buying, where you make money when the stock price goes up, short selling is the opposite. You profit when the stock price drops. Essentially, you're borrowing shares, selling them at the current price and buying them back later at a lower price. First of all, we have data. We have all of the Russell 1000 current and past stocks, so we don't have survivorship bias. By shorting the stocks, the most important thing is that the stock must be actually shortable. Usually it's harder to short penny stocks. Bigger the stock, the higher chance is that the stock is shortable. So we need to make filters, so we make sure that we choose big enough stocks to short. Stock minimum price should be at least $10 and average 20 day volume over 200,000. Also, if you think your capital is too big, then add another rule. Each trade should be 1% of the stock's average daily volume. If you trade more than this, you risk moving the price. And we need volatile stocks also that are moving more because with short selling trading cost is higher and we want to make sure that trading cost does not affect our strategy much. And some of the traders are excluding biotech stocks because if there is a FDA approval, then stock can jump hundreds of percentages overnight, which can make catastrophic losses. So if you want to exclude biotech stocks, then we need to use Thomson Reuters business classification code, like. Now let's make our entry rules. Before we move on, let's quickly just into the strategy section. First of all, let's add the correct commission prices that we should use. We need to pay a commission. When we enter a trade and exit a trade, and we have to pay a stock borrow fee. We write down the interactive broker's commissions. And we are paying a borrowing fee every day if we are in the trade, even if it's a holiday or the weekend. Not only on the trading days, which some get wrong. Next, let's add an extra limit because we are using limit orders. So the price must go 0.1% beyond the limit price to get a fill. The trade side is short. Then let's use quantity. It's 100 divided by our positions. In this case, we are using 10 positions. Quantity type is percent. Max setups are out positions minus positions that are currently open in the current strategy. Next is setup score. Usually, the higher the stock's volatility is the better candidate it is. Usually, the ATR5 is a good choice. Let's add an entry limit. Right now, we are adding a limit entry 2% higher than the previous high. And we exit the trade if the close is below the previous close but why do we hold so less time? And why not trend following the short side? Probably the 99.99% traders are not doing short side trends following the stock market. Over the long term, stocks tend to go more up than down. And if we hold short trade, then we pay a borrow fee every day, which can compound quickly. Short selling carries unique risks compared to long only strategies. Theoretically, unlimited losses, since stocks can rise indefinitely, and short squeezes in crowded short positions. I personally don't know anyone who is doing that. Maybe there are traders who can short sell trend following constantly over a long term, but that's why we make a short selling mean reversion strategy and hold maximum few days because it's much higher probability that our trade is making profit and add an entry setup and let's call it a short entry. Now let's go back to the data section and let's write our entry rules. Use in RUI, that means we are using Russell 1000 stocks. If you use Russell 3000, there are more stocks that are not shortable. And if we would choose a NASDAQ stocks, then it might also not work well because they are low beta stocks, which means they are not moving much and they tend to go higher. Let's add liquid and volatile and not biotech filter. And finally, we need some type of rule that tells if something happens, then we short. 
We can use whatever rules we want, but the key is that the faster price goes up, then usually the better short it is. We can use rules like close above upper Bollinger Band or Keltner Band or close greater than some kind of old high or using ADX indicator or any other momentum indicator. In this case, we are using Kulamagi's parabolic short selling strategy rule. It's proven by Kulamagi and there is a profitable edge. I don't want to show this rule publicly. If you want, you can download this full real test code or if you're not using real test, then you get a text file with the rules. But here are the results. It looks almost better than the setup alpha mean reversion strategy that you can also download. This strategy is making a decent result when the overall market is falling, which is the goal of short selling. Surprisingly, it's making money even if the markets are bullish. Sure, we can make this even better by using regime filters and etc. But that was a simple idea. And now you can download, modify and make a better as you want this strategy. Follow the link in the description to see full backtest data from this strategy and to download it. Also make sure you are following us in Substack so you get valuable trading tips every day. And subscribe because next time we are looking at how to combine multiple strategies into one portfolio. Write your question below the comments or email.